My name is Michaela Garbridge, and I'm here to present to you my presentation, Efficiency of the Branson Sports Club Basketball Academy. Growing up as a kid, I wanted to play every sport imaginable. Having an opportunity to play basketball was always my dream. This dream was made because of the Branson Sports Club providing summer camps to help me improve my basketball skills. Today, I am here to present to you a study that was done in order to improve the summer camp basketball academy, which will also lead to the improvement of the Branson Sports Club so they reach more kids, which will help them accomplish the mission more efficiently. First, I will go over the background of the Branson Sports Club and what its main purpose is, including their mission. Secondly, I will go over the Basketball Academy and why the camp is needed, what Basketball Academy is, and what needs to be done in order to improve it. Third, I will go over the grant that the Sports Club will need to apply for and its benefits. And lastly, I will talk about the sports club's efficiency and what is recommended in order to run the sports club to its full potential and accomplish its mission. <coughs> the Branson Sports Club is a nonprofit youth organization that uses Basketball Academy to help kids that may not have the opportunity to play basketball. This study was done on behalf of the nonprofit struggle for revenue, as well as the difficulty of following the mission for the past five years due to the lack of funding. This is resulting in the sports club putting a halt in accomplishing their goal of helping to give youth the opportunity to play basketball no matter their family's income. Basketball Academy is a great way for the sports club to follow through with the mission, but the funding issue needs to be solved in order to run the nonprofit more efficiently. Basketball Academy is a monthly basketball program designed to advance players' understanding and skill level of the game. The Branson Sports Club wants to create opportunities for the kids, no matter their family's income, and wants to make Basketball Academy free of charge in order to make this possible. Poverty in Branson is on the rise and causing a problem for a lot of families. If poverty continues to increase, the Sports Club <coughs> will begin to lose more funding and people will not be able to afford extras for their kids. As we see here on this chart, poverty is on the rise. Figure one, earnings per worker and household income. We compare Branson to the United States with median earnings per worker and median household income. In order for the data on the chart to not be a factor for the sports club, the result of making Basketball Academy free of charge is decided. In order for the Basketball Academy to work, the Branson Sports Club will need to apply for a grant. In my line of research, I have found a programmatic grant from finish line that the sports club qualifies for. The purpose of this grant is to ensure the youth <coughs> involved in the sports club basketball academy has the opportunity to learn the basics of basketball without any of it costing a penny out of the parent's pocket. The grant can provide up to $5,000 worth of supplies. And this is what we see in figure two and where the money will be going. We will be applying the money, applying the grant in order to get the money for 75 basketballs, 100 t-shirts, two toss bats, and 30 basketball shoes, <coughs> which will be about $5,000 in total. The toss back will provide an opportunity for the players working individually to allow them to work without having to have a coach stand there and continuously pass the basketball back to the player. The 30 basketball shoes will be given to the players that are less fortunate than the others and they will be they will be executed as accordingly. Receiving 100 t-shirts will be advertisement for the Branson Sports Club Basketball Academy and also a way to make extra money in order to pay for the building the building's electricity and their heating and cooling bills. This extra money will come from sponsorships using the t-shirts that will be received from the grant which will have a spot on the back of the t-shirt. Each sponsor will be $300. If the sports club were to find 10 sponsorships, this alone will be able to cover the cost of the facility use when running the basketball academy. Efficiency and nonprofits go hand in hand in today's nonprofit business environment. Operating efficiency is not just a good idea, but necessity for success and sustainability. In order for the Branson Sports Club 
to succeed in efficiency, the direction they are heading needs to go <coughs> more towards their mission and giving opportunities to the youth through basketball. By improving basketball academy, there will be improving, we will be improving the organization's efficiency. In figure three, we notice <coughs> that the youth that is involved with the academy is growing. In order to continue this, in order to increase the amount attending, the grant with finish line will need to be completed, and sponsorships will need to be looked for in the Branson Sports Club area. By 2020, the participants will have an increase in basketball academy participants for the following when the following is done accordingly. Analysis of basketball academy poverty in Branson, grant opportunities, sponsorships, and fulfilling uh, the sports club's mission lead to the following conclusions and recommendations. When improving basketball academy in order to stay on track with the nonprofit's mission and succeeding in efficiency. We have applying for the finish line grant for the $5,000. We have, after receiving the money from the grant, we use it to buy t-shirts, basketball, toss backs, and shoes, and we will charge $300 a logo in order to get the sponsor on the back of the t-shirt, which will cover facility costs. After these are completed, the Basketball Academy will rise in participants, and the Branson Sports Club's efficiency will follow their mission. The Branson Sports Club will benefit and meet its missions along with its community as a whole. When having a, <coughs> when having a chance to give their kids an opportunity through basketball, no matter the income status of the household. I want to thank everyone for coming today, and I want to thank you for your time and listening to my presentation. And I'd like to ask if there are any questions at this time.